Hi and Happy New Year everyone. So in this video I want to talk with you about fitness in HEMA, New Year challenges and what's to come on this channel. So I hope this New Year found you healthy and well and the first thing I wanted to talk about with you is how I approach fitness as a part of my training for HEMA, that is historical European martial arts, so fencing, sword fighting and so on. So I think fitness plays a very important role if you want to be a competitive fighter in this martial art. Because it's a martial art after all and technique you could understand it as an amplifier to your fitness, to your strength, to your speed. But if your ground level of speed or fitness is zero, then multiplied by anything that's still zero. So you want to get this number as high as possible while not spending so much time on fitness that another maybe better option technique training um, is forgotten after all so fitness should play an important part in your daily training and especially over the holidays i approach the topic with a minimum viable effort approach so what is minimum viable effort? Well, it's the least you can do on a daily basis that actually yields you some positive results. So this could be as little as investing three minutes per day in one particular muscle group that is challenging for you. So you remember if you want to build muscle, if you want to gain, get fitter, you need to challenge yourself at least a little bit. So maybe focus on one muscle group if you don't have a lot of time at hand. But you want to keep the total effort so low that you can do this over and over again. It doesn't get you anywhere if you burn yourself out over the first week of training when afterwards you don't show up to training anymore. So you want to do the least possible to get you going for a long time. Okay, and that's the, that's the spirit. You want to do more today than you did yesterday. But you want to do at least something every day. And like I said, this could be doing like three minutes of training. I think my wife and I are currently at five minutes training per day that we committed to. Of course, you can do more, but this is the least amount we are committed to. And since we have a newborn son, time, finding time can be a challenging thing. So that's our thing today. But we already did something like um, doing one push-up per day or one squat per day. So this would be, again, the least thing you can do. And if you're at a very low fitness level, this might be already challenging to motivate yourself every day to do at least one exercise every day. Okay, and this brings me to New Year's challenges. So like the last three or four years, I don't remember quite, uh, I participate in the 30 for 30 challenge of 2022 this year. So what does it mean? Well, it's a challenge to do 30 minutes of training. So it could be sword fighting, could be technique training, could be, uh, could be reading the actual sources. So just 30 minutes of something related to the activity you want to get better at for 30 days. So starting on January the 2nd until the, uh, January the 31st. So these are 30 days. But... Of course, you can start later, that's no problem. You could start earlier. And I don't really like challenges because they are not really an, a change of behavior, but they could be a good kickstarter to change your behavior. While 30 minutes a day, additional training to my usual one isn't quite feasible for me. I think it's quite a nice challenge to amp it up just a little bit at the start of the year. But, of course, if you handle it really broadly, I, of course, read books or watch videos on HEMA all the time. That's just not the training I seek from this challenge. So, 
If you are interested, there's a Facebook group, the challenge is host, hosted by Devin Borman and I really recommend you to participate in it because there are lots of, of reports, lots of encouragement and lots of useful training tips from all the participants. Okay, and the last topic for today is what's going to happen with this channel this year. Well, as a part of this challenge, I challenged myself to reorder and regroup all the two sorts material of Achille Marozzo to make it more approachable and accessible for especially beginners with two sorts. So that's something to look out for for the upcoming months. And if it doesn't get published by the end of February, you can kick me in the ass. So I get uh, don't get lazy on that. Okay. And what's, what else is to come? Well, the side sort, or the single sort uh, series still needs to get finished. That's a uh, plan for, I think, um, for the spring to do this until then. Then we got the two-handed sword of Achille Marzo. And actually I got, uh, well, I should get in the next few weeks, a brand new rapier. And I will dive and dabble a little bit into later Bolognese sources especially Palladini, which is from the beginning of the 17th century. So not so far away from Giovanni della Rocchia, actually. And I'll see how this source and Giovanni della Rocchia with the rapier handles in tournaments. So that's something to look out for over the year. There will be also a lot more sparring videos, but not just sparring because actually I found myself getting quite tired of just watching uncommented sparring, but I want to make it a little bit more entertaining and insightful by actually commenting on all of that. Okay, thank you very much for the last year. It was great. I couldn't have imagined anything like that to have over 3000 subscribers by now. So you guys are great. If you have any questions, leave them under the comments, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.